good morning. Um, today we are going to have an experiment about um, Okay, good morning. So today we are going to have an experiment about convection current. Okay, so here are the things needed. You need a water, oil, and food coloring. Okay, and you also need hot plate. Um, you can also use um, alcohol lamp, but since we have hot plate, so let's utilize hot plate. You also need a steering rod. So the first thing you will do is food, food coloring, and the water. So we got our water. To be colored. It means no Sila color sa oil. Basta doon ito ang color ko. Since yellow man ang color na available, so you don't have a choice. Next, full oil. Just enough to cover the surface of the water. What now? Good afternoon. Hapon na ngayon. Paalala, wala akong klase ngayon. Okay, so... Um, then, inipon ko lahat yung ginamit namin kanina sa um, experiment namin sa grade 10. So, may apat na grupo. So, ito na yung lahat. Gamitin ko ito para sa vlog ko. Ito. So, yun na nga. <laughs> This is the convection current experiment. So this only needs um, oil. This is the oil. Then this is water with food coloring. So this experiment explains how convection current occurs. Okay. By the way, convection current um, is the one that explains the plate tectonic theory. Why do plates move? Why do plates converge? Why do plates um, diverge? And why do plates transform? And it is due to convection current. Okay? So the plate tectonic theory is the um, more, let's say, convincing theory compared to the continental drift theory. Because continental drift theory was the first theory proposed by Alfred Wegener, okay, and explains why the continent drifted apart from Pangea to Gondwana land to Laurasia and all those, the seven continents of the world as of today, okay, but it was further explained because of the, but, oh uh, no, Alfred Wegener have presented um, evidence supporting his theory that the continents were um, the continents were connected to each other millions of years ago but the question there is an answered questions why or how or what makes the drifting away of the continents that's the unanswered question of the continental drift theory and and here comes the seafloor spreading theory. 
So the seafloor spreading theory explains why the, the continents drifted apart. After the seafloor spreading theory, here comes the plate tectonic theory. And it was explained by the convection current. Okay, so... So this is the oil part, this one, and this is the water part. So the oil part, um, this represents the crust, while the water part represents the mantle. So let's try to see how convection current um, works. So as we are heating up the waters, there are some movements now. By the way, our water is not clean. <laughs> That's why there are some particles included. So how does convection current works? Look, warm air rises. So as the warm liquid rises, look at the crust. There are movements in the crust. So our crust here is represented by the oil. Look. The crust or the oil is now being disturbed. That's why the plates move. Yes, that's it.